students i am your komali ma'am in this session i am going to tell you about redox reaction see redox red r e d red means reduction ox means oxidation the reactions in which both reduction oxidation takes place those are called reduction re redox reactions so in this session i am going to tell you about what are reduction reactions what are oxidation reactions what are reducing agents and what are oxidizing agents this topic is from class 10th chemistry this video is for students who are preparing for board exams and who are looking for best it and neat foundation course this video will be helpful for you all in this you know what is the reduction what is oxidation let's see one by one oxidation oxidation means the addition of oxygen see the name oxidation you are doing you are telling oxidation see, it means you are adding an oxygen the addition of oxygen to a substance or you are adding an oxygen or you are adding an oxygen or you are removing hydrogens you are remove you are adding oxygen you are removing hydrogens that is called oxidation oxidation means you are adding oxygen or you are removing hydrogen is called oxidation can you tell me reverse can you say reduction reverse you are adding hydrogens and you are removing oxygens what do you mean by reduction addition of hydrogen addition of hydrogen or we are removing oxygen what we are doing we are removing oxygen so addition of hydrogen or we are removing oxygen we call it as what students it is called as reduction let us see some examples before going to learn the examples understand what is oxidizing agent what is reducing agent the one the substance which gives oxygen see i i told you this substance is undergoing oxidation okay how that that element got that oxygen this substance is giving the substance which is giving oxygen to other element to undergo oxidation suppose what i am doing i am giving you question paper to write exam you are writing exam you have a question paper with you means i have given you question paper right same way i have given you oxygen to you you have taken that oxygen you and you are undergoing oxidation you are undergoing oxidation and that's why i am oxidizing agent the substance which is giving oxygen or removing hydrogens we call it as oxidizing agent reverse reducing agent i am the one i am reducing you how i am reducing you reduction means what addition of hydrogens so i am the one i am giving you hydrogens so that you are undergoing reduction so i am giving you hydrogens the substance which gives hydrogens the substance which gives hydrogens that is the reason reduction is happening that's why we call it as reducing agent and the substance which we call it as you know the substance which gives the substance which gives oxygen which gives oxygen we call it as an you know reducing agent either the substance which gives hydrogens or removes oxygen we call it as reducing agent okay ma'am fine i understand a little bit let's see example so that you get a complete clarity copper oxide metal is there. metal oxide is there copper oxide we treat with hydrogen gas we pass hydrogen gas and we heat it then we will be getting copper metal and this h2 and this oxygen comes out as a h2o this h2 and this oxygen goes out as a h2o so here identify cu is converting into cu cuo is converting into cu loss of oxygen removal of oxygen is called reduction what is the students tell me reduction we are removing we are removing what oxygen now to this hydrogen hydrogen is converting into h2o hydrogen is taking this oxygen addition of oxygen is taking place addition of oxygen addition of oxygen is oxidation simple technique i'll tell you this is undergoing oxidation it is it is h2 is undergoing oxidation means h2 is getting oxygen which is giving oxygen cuo so cuo is making hydrogen to undergo oxidation so cuo is an oxidizing agent or simply you can learn the element which is undergoing reduction it is an oxidizing agent 
the element which is undergoing oxidation reverse reducing agent why ma'am this is all cuo is oxidizing agent because cuo is giving oxygen okay next see the example number 2 h2s yes, plus hydrogen sulfide you are passing chlorine gas and we are getting sulfur and hydro hydrogen chloride we are getting so see this reaction in this reaction here our main aim is to focus only on uh, oxidation reduction with respect to hydrogens and oxygen here H2S is changing from H2S re converting into sulfur. H Cl2 is changing to HCl. First you put arrows like this. Then observe what is the change between these two. You are removing hydrogen. Removal of hydrogen is oxidation. Addition of oxygen or removal of hydrogen is what? Oxidation. Now, chlorine Cl2 is changing from, you are adding hydrogen to this. Cl2 you are adding, your difference is your extra is H. So, addition of hydrogen is reduction. So, which element is getting reduced? Cl2 is getting reduced to HCl. Which element is oxidized? H2S is oxidized to sulfur. Which is undergoing oxidation? That is an reducing agent which is undergoing reduction. That is an oxidizing agent. So, if they ask you, the element with the compound which is oxidized. Can you tell me which is oxidized? H2S. If they ask the one which is undergoing, uh, which is reduced, Cl2, if they ask which is reduced, reduced, which is reducing in this reaction, reduced, H, H, Cl2, if they ask which is an oxidizing agent, the one which is undergoing reduction, that is Cl2. If they ask which is reducing agent, the one which is undergoing oxidation, reverse oxidation, that is H2S. That's it my dear students. Simply you can solve any kind of questions. Okay. Now can you try? ZNO plus C gives rise to you are heating zinc oxide with coke and you are heating. Then we are getting zinc metal and carbon monoxide gases coming out. Now I want you to identify what is this reaction? What is this reaction? Can you tell me this is difference between these two? Zinc oxygen it is losing. Removal of oxygen reduction reduction here what is the difference carbon is gaining oxygen so addition of oxygen is oxidation so which is the reducing agent which is undergoing oxid reduction is oxidizing agent which is undergoing oxidation is reducing agent reverse that simple you no need to do anything in exam which is undergoing oxidation reducing agent which is undergoing reduction oxidizing agent okay next example add hydrochloric acid to manganese dioxide and we will be getting manganese dichloride and chlorine gas and some water will be formed this is a reaction here uh, my intention is not to explain this reaction let us see which is oxidized which is reduced ok now now which is oxidized can you uh, can you try MnO2 is changing to MnCl2 ok here you are removing oxygen oxygen is their reactant set but it is not their product set so you are removing oxygen so it is reduction 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 means oxidizing agent here HCl is converting into Cl2 you are removing hydrogen removal of hydrogen is oxidation which is undergoing oxidation means it acts as a reducing agent and it is reducing MnO to MnCl2 like that you have to understand ok till now what you have learnt you have learnt everything with respect to addition of oxygen or removal of oxygen or hydrogen only oxygen hydrogen with respect to that you have learnt there are some reactions in which not there are some reactions in which sorry there are some reactions in which not only not only oxygen hydrogen addition or removal you are adding metal with respect to metal and non metal if you are adding a metal metal then it is reduction reduction if you are adding non metal non metallic element non metallic element you are adding so then it will undergo oxidation 
this is also one of the best technique to identify oxidation and reduction reactions okay let's see copper metal it is what are non metals metals like copper zinc sodium some example simply i'm giving you magnesium these are metals non metals like oxygen fluorine you know uh, nitrogen hydrogen these are non metals here ox you will study you will study in next next chapters you will study about this you are add cu is converting into cuo so you are adding oxygen to this you are adding non metal to metal non metal you are adding so non metal you are adding means it is undergoing oxidation which is undergoing oxidation students tell me copper is undergoing oxidation and here oxygen here converting into cuo which what is the difference cu is the difference right you are adding metal to it addition of metal is in reduction which is undergoing reduction is an oxidizing agent which is undergoing oxidation is a reducing agent that's the reason no here o2 is oxidizing cu into cuo that's why it is an oxidizing agent here copper actually it is in red brownish kind of metal then when you do combustion in air then it converts into a black colored substance called as copper oxide i will show you the question how they will frame and they'll ask you okay now here are some questions for you please try these questions name the substance oxidized and the substance reduced in the following reaction in this reactions one second h2 so2 here this is so2 here all right so2 here h2 s yes, gives rise to uh, h2o plus alpha try this question take a screenshot try next question students take a screenshot try this or click on pause next question next question pause it and try last question pause it and try try and watch this video or along with me you also try along with me you also try here sul so2 is converting into sulfa you are removing oxygen so it is reduction reduction means oxidizing agent here h2s is converting into sulfa means you are removing hydrogen removal of hydrogen is known as oxidation oxidation means reducing agent that's it very easy see the next question h2s is converting into sulfa you are removing hydrogen removing hydrogen means reduction oxidation oxidation means reducing agent here iodine is converting into 2hi means it is a extra is hydrogen you are adding hydrogen means reduction reduction means oxidizing agent is you know any difficulty students 10th class clear na plus o2 gives rise to na2 one reaction is there here this is metal to the metal you are adding a non metal so adding a non metal to a metal adding a no addition of non metal is oxidation you are, it is undergoing oxidation simply to say here o2 is converting into na2o oxygen is gaining a metal gain of a metal is called as a reduction this is oxidation means it is a reducing agent it is undergoing reduction means oxidizing agent see here o2 is an oxidizing agent it is oxidizing na into na2 na2o last question next question one more which of the fall which of the statements about the reaction below are incorrect they were asking see here first identify PbO is converting into Pb. You are removing oxygen. What you are doing? You are removing oxygen. Removal of oxygen is reduction. Reduction means it is an oxidizing agent. Here coke is converting into CO2. Here coke is converting into CO2 means what it is undergoing? It is undergoing oxidation. You are adding oxygen. Oxidation. Oxidation means reducing agent. That's it. PbO is undergoing reduction. PbO lead oxide is getting reduced. Correct. 
but they are asking incorrect options okay first i am finding correct option next coke is getting oxidized Co not this coke carbon is getting oxidized correct next lead is getting reduced no lead oxide is getting reduced this is incorrect incorrect next coke carbon dioxide is getting oxidized no carbon dioxide is not getting oxidized Co coke is getting oxidized here c is getting oxidized okay so they are asking the incorrect statements they were asking okay so what are our two incorrect statements option 1 and option 2 these two are the incorrect statements okay next last question a shiny brown element which x which on reaction with oxygen or air it is forming a black colored element what is that black colored compound what is that this is a copper when you are heating with oxygen it is forming a black colored compound called copper oxide this is a black color this is copper element this reaction we have discussed just before this reaction came just before not balanced reaction normal reaction i have written here see this is a reaction like this also they may ask you copper which is reddish brown element if you treat in air if you do oxidation in air it converts into black colored substance called copper oxide that is cuo is it clear it, like this you can learn every topic in a simple and easiest manner subscribe to komali ma'am channel if you are watching for the first time please like this video and share this video to your friends so that they will also get benefit of the classes my name is komali i am your chemistry mentor thank you so much for watching this video and what you do is if you feel any topic difficulty in your 10th syllabus or any particular concept which is ma'am this topic i want to learn from you put in a comment section if the topic is excellent topic definitely i'll make a beautiful video for you all have a nice day see you again in next video